Imagine you are watching a video and a screenshot pops up. This feels a little bit random and can ruin the production quality of your videos. So instead, do this. Let me show you how it can be done in two minutes. So this is what we currently have, a video where another footage pops up. But this is out of the random and there's no motivation behind the movement. We don't see anything come up, it just appears. And back in the day I used to go here and play with the keyframes and do the position and then bring down the position. But now I have a much better way. Something that is built in DaVinci Resolve that is so easy to do. And you can find it in the video transition tab called Push. Now what you can do with this is just pull it on to the footage or the picture or anything. And now if you check it, it pushes it in. It seems weird and beginner level, but we can really make it stand out and feel good. As you see, when we applied it, there is a little gray box that appeared and this shows that we have the transition on it and we can obviously change the duration of it. I like to keep it one second because it gives us more smooth looking transition and on the presets you can just choose where you can push it and if we check the base footage we see it's going up so i'm thinking we should push it up so it matches the scrolling effect and now it looks much much better rather if we put the left or right it's just not bad but not natural not as much natural i should say okay now we have this but you know i like smooth things and this isn't smooth so what we can do with this is just make it ease in and out. This will do the key framing for us, so we don't have to worry about it. It will make it look so much better as you see. It looks already better. And now one more final thing that I didn't even use in my original transitions, but now I use because it's so easy, is just pull up the motion blur a little bit. 0.1 or 0.2 is just preference, but it makes it look so much better. And boom, it's down. That's how easy it was. And now if you have done it once, it's now so much easier to just hold Option or Alt if you are on Windows and just drag it back to the footage. So at the end of the footage. So now we have coming up and we have going out. We can make it longer so the whole footage stays and now we have it done, it's ready. But I would do it pushed down so now something feels like it comes up and then the same thing goes down, you know? So it gives us a better feel. And there are other things that you can play with but I wouldn't do anything, I just do use this and you can even put it here in the middle so it's, it's half on something else but I just like to have it normally on so I don't get confused, I don't push anything under it, I don't ruin anything. Okay, and the last thing that we can do is just click on here, right click and create transition preset. And now you don't even have to do this three minute setup, just save it as preset and it happens. I already have a preset saved out, you see here push preset, it's done. I don't have to do anything, I just come here, I just bring this push preset and it's already working. I don't have to do anything else. I just have to change where do I want to push it. That easy. I have trained a lot of editors so far and there is a document that I use with every one of them. It has the golden rules of editing that I collected over the years. I'm giving this to you but the catch is, if you get it now you will get two bonuses. You will get a brand for entrepreneurs mini course where I explain how to build a brand for business owners and also my way of getting clients. I just got somebody to pay me 1k using this method and personally paid 700 to learn this. I'm giving all of this for you for $47 right now. If you watch this video a month or six months later, it might have changed but i want to give back to the community that helped me get to where i'm right now so take this as a new year's deal side note this product is best for people who edit talking head videos you will learn from it even if you do real life documentaries but it's mainly for people who edit videos where somebody sits down in front of the camera and talks it's the first link in the description thank you